Yeah, it's been a little while now. I think just over five months since I did it my shoulder in the first round of NRC. So it was good just to have a run around against the Tars, get 60 minutes out and then have another run around at the 10s, which was good fun. Just get the ball in hand and have a run around. Um, what do you think of the 10s? Yeah, it's a, an awesome format. I think it was a bit frustrating for us considering we won two games and still didn't go through. So there's still a little bit of kinks to iron out, but as a concept, I thought it was great. The crowds were pretty good, even though it was nearing 40 degrees there on both days. So it's exciting and I think uh, it should definitely be embraced moving forward. Do you think you have done enough to force your way into the side for round one? Uh, I, I'm not sure. That's one thing that Bernie to decide. I think I've just got to keep uh, pushing my case at training. Uh, obviously we don't have another trial so um, hopefully I've done enough to put myself there but if not then I'm ready just to keep working and force my way into the side later on. And how tough will competition be for a place on the wing? Yeah it's very tough. It's uh, Unfortunately we're, we lost uh, Lousy in the first trial but obviously Ant coming back and Nigel coming back from uh, Japan. They're both talented rugby players so I think anywhere in the back line is going to be pretty competitive so I've just got to keep training hard and hopefully uh, end up with a position later on. Doug, did you have a full reco or what did you do? I just, uh, it wasn't a full reconstruction, it was just a bit of a, a labral tear fix up and then a bit of posterior stabilisation. So yeah, no, nothing. Being out for so long though, like how much does that set you back? Like it, it must be a mental challenge more than anything really. Uh, yes and no, I guess I just landed on it. It was an unlucky accident. It wasn't like uh, I went to tackle someone that popped out, it was just, um, just one of those things, playing a contact sport, you get a little bit unlucky, so you just got to jump over that little mind hurdle and get back out there, run around, make some tackles, and you're good as gold. So how long have you been cleared to do full contact stuff? Uh, I think it was about two weeks before the TARS trial. I'd right. been doing some tackling with Aiden. Aiden had a pretty similar injury, so um, having a rehab partner has been pretty good, pushing me along. So how much does that set you back, though, in, in terms of trying to break into Super Rugby Round 1? It really only gives you, what five weeks sort of thing preparation? Yeah, well, I've played enough games for Bernie to know what he's going to get out of me for games. So obviously, I just had to show that I was back to fitness and then it's up to him to decide where how he wants to play his back line. Well, we seem to probably ask you this every year, maybe, but where do you want to fit in? Do you, like, are you, have you used this preseason to target a spot on the wing or you still want to have that versatility to your game? Yeah, I think just being a good footballer is the most important thing and being able to fit in. Obviously got some great players as we have every year, so it's just uh, if I can get a spot on the wing then that's great. Anywhere else I'm happy to play, but um, it's just about getting the team in the best position to win games, so I'm happy. Because some guys are really going to have to step up this year, aren't they? Oh, it's definitely. Like, yeah. But um, I think that's the nature of rugby. People move on and people step up and new superstars are created. There's all some young guys that are local to Canberra and they're pushing their claims for minutes as well, so it's it's pretty exciting time to be Brumby. Um, to be back home has been um, amazing. I arrived Friday and uh, I've had family dinners every single night, so it's been really, really good. Um, I'm really happy to be back and to, to join the team today has been fantastic. And to have a round and be back with so many familiar faces is just, um, yeah, it's, it's overwhelming. So, and to be back playing with Saya, my brother, um, it is fantastic. So for me, it's, um, it's really a great homecoming and um, walking the streets and yeah, going through Civic and uh, Marnica and, and seeing the old shops we used to go to and um, just seeing people that we used to see uh, when I used to come back from Brisbane is, um, yeah, been fantastic. Has much changed since you, since you left? Uh, I'm staying at the foreshore, so the foreshore has just grown. There was no uh, island, and uh, now Braddon seems to be the place to go, and uh, different uh, nightclubs, and uh, as my wife would tell me, uh, there's, there's many places to go and eat and for dinner, and uh, people, people go out now. You have to book, Anthony. You can't just roll in. So why don't we just go? It's fine. She goes, no, you, you must book. So we've had to book at restaurants in Canberra, which I've never had to do before. So... Especially on Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's Day, I know. <laughs> so I'm in trouble for that one. I had to book, so I've got the heads up on that. Um, and what did you take out of your stint in Japan? Um, Japan is uh, a country where the guys have, have just worked super hard. Uh, they're probably not the most talented rugby players, but what they do uh, make up... Uh, what they don't make up for in talent, they work, their work ethic is huge. So um, for me to get over there and start playing f with the Japanese has been fantastic. It's just helped my rugby and helped me learn uh, a new culture, but also helped me just grow uh, even more the, the, the base that I had uh, of what I thought was hard work. 
they've just taken it to a new level. So for me, it's just been really, really good to see how um, other cultures play rugby and how other cultures really um, adapt to you know, different trainings. So for me, it's been fantastic. Um, and there was a lot of speculation about your future last year. Why did you decide on Canberra? Uh, why Canberra? Um, this is my home. I, I've been here for a very long time and um, I always wanted to play. You know, when I started here in, in 2004 um, with the Brumbies, I always wanted to start and finish my career here. Um, and it was a place um, that you know, I always yeah, wanted to start and finish my career. I've been lucky to, given, to be given the opportunity by Stephen to come back and play for the Brumbies. So, um, and then to do that with Say was just a, a bonus. So when he called... Um, last year, I, I sort of jumped out of two hands and said, yeah, why not? Um, so that was, yeah, it was a big opportunity for me. And uh, for me, I just want to make sure I can add to the team and, and make sure I can put out good performances. There will be quite a few young faces in competitions this year. How important will it be for you to add your experience to the side? Yeah, I think um, coming into the side this week, um, uh, a lot of the young guys are speaking and it's really, really developing. So for me, um, I'm sort of just watching everything at the moment um, and then I'll just sort of start putting my input when it's needed um, and just get back to just playing good footy. I think that's what Canberra's all about. People here come down here and from you know from Brisbane, Sydney, wherever they're from and, and just play rugby and, and play good so good rugby. So uh, for me it's just about uh, making sure I can add to the team. Given you only come back in the, the two weeks before the super season starts, is that too soon for you to start pushing into the sort of starting team or where have you kind of set your goals? Yeah, um, we're very lucky with technology at the moment that I've been able to watch every single training session since last year's November, since November, December last year. So, um, yeah, so technology has been fantastic. Um, so I know most of the players, I, you know, all, all I need to do is really roll out and start running, running plays. I know all the guys here. Um, so, yeah, it's... For me, at the moment, um, I, I sort of just need to get my, my bearings with the, some of the guys and really just worry about playing playing football first before I even start pushing that 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 selection route down there. But you feel like you're ready if, if Bernie comes in and says we yeah, want absolutely. you around one. Um, I only finished playing rugby two weeks ago. Mm. So, um, so it hasn't been uh, a long time since I've uh, laced up. So, um, yeah, so I can't wait to get out there and, and start playing. Say so said that... Um, when he came back, he started driving to Griffith headquarters because um, he thought training was still out there. Have you had to kind of get your head around being on this social? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So my first day, I actually drove there and I was drove past and I was like, oh, well, well kept driving because there's apartments there now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've already made that mistake. Uh, so Friday was my first day. So, that, yeah, so I've had to do a U-turn there and keep driving. So I'm lucky I didn't have to drive from Queanbeyan um, to Griffith first. I was at the Kingston, so, um, but yeah, so there, there's been little changes, obviously the, the move from, from Kingston or Manica to, to obviously over in Belconnen. Um, so yeah, for me, there has been some changes and it's good changes. Um, yeah, the facilities that we have out here are amazing. I know you said um, you always felt like Brumbies would be a place you wanted to start and finish your career. Yep. I think one year deal for you this year, this year. is it? That's right. Is that, are you looking beyond that, or are you, for you uh, for at this the moment, stage, is it year to year? Yeah, just for the moment, I'd like to just worry about this year. Um, I've just come back from Japan, so from back-to-back -back seasons. So I just need to worry about just getting this year right. Do you still feel like you've got something to offer Super Rugby sort of thing? Like um, you've had some injuries and stuff in the past, yeah. but obviously put them behind you. Yeah. Ready to, like in a young team, you, you can be... That's right, and I think uh, being in a young side helps you feel young. So for me, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm around young guys all the time, so it's really, really yeah, good. Um, it doesn't make you feel like you're 30. I just turned 30 the other week, so uh, I don't feel like I'm 30. I still feel like I'm 25, like the boys. So we're just running around and, uh, and say, we, we joke about it all the time. Uh, probably between 30 and 35, we're probably in the prime of my life, <laughs> as we would say. <laughs> and what about positionally? Still like... Inside centre is a go for you? Or? Yeah, either. So 12 or 13 doesn't really matter for me, um, defensively or attacking-wise. Um, so centre, yeah, centre is, is my position. So probably not 10 and probably not a winger. So uh, just a, a centre.